Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Mr. Elf takes a holiday. Food delivery! Ah, thank goodness. Breakfast at last. Yes, sorry, I'm running a bit late today. I have a splendid king's breakfast for you, though. Egg and baked beans. Egg and beans? But today is Tuesday. We have muffins on Tuesday. Tuesday already? What happened to Monday? That was yesterday. Was it? You've been working too hard, Mr Elf. No, no, no. I'm fine. You need a holiday. Yay! A holiday! And you can come too, Holly. Ooh, can I, Daddy? Yes, of course, Holly. Have a good time. But... I can't have a holiday. Who will make my deliveries? Nanny Plum can. No, I can't. Of course you can. Any fool can drive a truck. What? But, but I'm the king, remember? And I sentence you to a holiday. Hello, Mrs Elf. I have some terrible, terrible news. Oh, no. What is it? King Thistle. What about him? Has sentenced me to... Prison? I won't stand for it. <coughs> Revolution! Up with the elves! Down with the king! <coughs> it's worse than that. He has sentenced me to... A holiday! Oh, my goodness! I knew you'd be upset. This is wonderful! We never go on holiday. What are you talking about? We went to the seaside. That was a day trip. And we went to the moon. But you left me behind. Oh, yes. Very well. Let's go on holiday. Hooray! This is the plan. First, we take the elf plane and fly somewhere nice. Oh, lovely! We have a quick snack. Yes. Then we'll pack up and fly back home in time for me to do my evening delivery. That's not a holiday! Now listen to me, Mr Elf. You're taking us away for at least a week to somewhere hot and you're going to relax. But I'm an elf and elves don't like relaxing. Well, you just have to learn. It's going to be fun, Mr Elf. <sighs> All right. But this is an elf holiday, so no magic wands, Holly. OK, Mr Elf. And no pets. <laughs> Aw, Dad! It's my holiday. I make the rules. Sorry, Gaston. You have to stay here. Bye-bye, <coughs> Gaston. <coughs> Come on, everyone. We're going to be late for the holiday. <coughs> Please, Mr Elf, try to have fun. All right. I'll try. Ready for takeoff? Yes! Let's go! I can't relax now. What if something goes wrong? Oh, don't be silly. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, no! What is it, Dad? The engine has broken. We'll have to land. Where are we? In the middle of nowhere. It's just water down there. Prepare for a big splash. Dad, a desert island. Good. Everyone out. Wow, a real desert island. Brilliant, isn't it? It is very pretty. What a lovely beach. Stranded on a desert island. Now what do we do? Relax. Darling, there are worse places to be stuck. Yes, yes, we can have our holiday here. 
Who'd like some lemonade? But after the holiday, how do we get home? We could send a message in a bottle. Clever Ben. That's what people on desert islands do. We write a rescue note, put the note in the bottle and then throw it out to sea. Then all we have to do is wait until someone finds it. Fantastic. And how long does that normally take? Usually about 20 years. What? Well, there's no rush. But what about the little kingdom? What about the great elf tree? What about my elf deliveries? Oh, stop worrying. I'm sure the elf delivery can manage without you. Fairy delivery! Ah, Nanny Plum, have you brought my potato? You always have potatoes, so I brought you an onion. What? Why? For a change. Have you got my baked beans? I've got you a pineapple. But I don't like pineapple. What about my sausages? I've got you some blue cheese. But I hate blue cheese. Oh, you're such a bunch of fuss pots. Honestly. It was better when Mr Elf did the deliveries. Yes, he knew a sausage when he saw one. Well, you'll just have to make do with me. Mr. Alf is on holiday, having fun. Stuck on a desert island. I am so bored. Do try and relax, darling. I can't. I need something to do. That's not relaxing. It is for me. I relax by being very busy. Maybe I'll explore the island. I could work out how big it is. Do you think there'll be anyone else on the island? No, I don't think so. <gasps> Footsteps. <gasps> so something does live here. Yes, a wild beast. Let's follow its tracks and find it. All right, but we must take care. The wild beast might be dangerous. The tracks lead to this bush. There's something in there. The wild beast. It's Gaston! <laughs> How did you get here? What's that? You hid in the plane, swam ashore when we weren't looking, and hid in the bushes, you say? Clever Gaston! But I thought I said no pets! Gaston could be useful, Dad! Gaston, we need food. Can you find some? <laughs> Gaston's good at sniffing out food. <gasps> A coconut! It's huge! Yes, enough food and drink to last us for weeks. Well done, Gaston. Stand clear! Hooray! You know, this holiday isn't so bad after all. I shall call this place Elf Island. Ben and Holly have been gone for ages. I do miss them. Me too. Oh, what's that? It's a message in a bottle. <gasps> it's from Ben. It says... Trapped on a desert island, Dad bored, please rescue. Let's go and tell the wise old elf. Wise, wise old, old elf. elf! Wise old, old elf. elf! We found a message in a bottle from Ben Elf. Oh my goodness! Launch Elf Rescue! We have a family to save! Elf Rescue our go! Dinner time! Who wants coconut? Ugh. We've had coconut every day for weeks. Coconut soup, coconut pie, coconut pancakes, curried coconut. Ah, oh, but tonight it's coconut surprise. What's the surprise? It's coconut. <sighs> coconut surprise? Delicious. Mmm, who's having a great time? I know I am. I want to go home. Me too. Yes, I do too. Home? I can't go home. I've got too much work to do here. I need to finish the hut, start on the garden, and I haven't even thought about the plumbing. No, the last thing I want to do now is go home. It's Elf Rescue! Hooray! Hello? We're here to take you home. Oh, thank you. 
but I haven't finished my work on Elf Island. But there's work for you back home. Nanny Plum hasn't quite got the hang of the deliveries. I wanted a potato and she brought me an onion. Onions instead of potatoes? That's crazy. I'll have to sort that out. So home we go. Bye-bye, Elf Island. Yes, bye-bye, Elf Island. I have to admit, that's the best holiday I've ever had. Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts on Picnic Hill. Honeybees. Ah. <laughs> I do love a good picnic. Yes, nothing beats eating in the great outdoors. Sandwich, Mrs Elf. Thank you, Queen Thistle. Sandwich, darling. Mmm, yummy. Honey sandwiches, my favourite. <laughs> ah, buzz off. Go away. <laughs> Daddy, they're only bees. Well, I don't like them. They're good for nothing. Good for nothing? The honey in your sandwich comes from bees. No, it doesn't. Honey comes from a jar. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Didn't you go to school, dear? Yes, King School. We learned to wave. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's right, King Thistle. Bees do make honey. Really? How do they do that, then? It all starts with a flower. The bees eat sweet nectar from the flower. They eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and... Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. When they've eaten lots of nectar, <coughs> they take it back to make honey in the beehive. I'd love to see the beehive. I'll take you there if you like. Good idea, Mr Elf. And while you're at it, can you get me some more honey? Of course, Your Majesty. We'll bring you back a nice fresh jar of honey. <laughs> Mr. Elf, how many bees live in the hive? Oh, there are thousands of bees in a hive. Thousands? Wow! They must make a right old racket. Oh, yes! Get ready for the loud buzzing. It will be very noisy indeed. Oh, it's very quiet. Wise old elf, where are all the bees? They've gone. Gone? gone? Yes, flown off. We're waiting to see if they come back. There, that's the queen bee. The rest of them always follow her. Good. She's led them all back into the hive. Everyone relax. All's back to normal. Now then, Ben and Holly, what can we do for you? We've come to see how bees make honey. Well, you've come to the right place. This is the beehive, and I'm the beekeeper. We need a jar of honey for the king. No problem. So, I suppose we go in and get some. Where's the door? Hang on, Nanny Plum. You can't just walk into the hive. There's thousands of bees in there with thousands of stings. And they wouldn't be too pleased if we tried to take away their honey. <sighs> so what do we do? First, we make the bees sleepy. How? Well, it um, involves magic. But I thought you didn't like magic. I don't. But when I'm about to walk into a nest of angry bees, I'm prepared to bend the rules. Who does the magic? Oh, any old fairy will do. Nanny Plum, can you do a sleep spell for me? All right, then. <laughs> oh, Nanny, not the wise old elf. The bees. <sighs> why doesn't he say what he means? Uh, 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 what, what happened? Right. 
So just to be clear, you want me to magic the bees to sleep? If you wouldn't mind, yes. They're all asleep. Good. Now it will be much safer. So now, do you go in and get the honey? Not quite yet. We need a fail-safe. A fail-safe? What's that? Extra safety in case our first safety measure fails. Watch this. It's very clever. What's he doing, Nanny? Goodness knows. It'll probably be stupid, but funny. Ta-da! Told you! He's dressed as a bee. Yes, so if the bees do wake up, they'll think I'm a bee and not sting me. You're fail-safe. Yes, Ben. Now I simply fly into the hive. But you can't fly. That's where the elf helicopter comes in. <laughs> Lift me up! Lifting! Bees asleep? Check! Bee costume on? Check! Jar for honey? Check! Go, go, go! Now, watch a beekeeper at work. Calm, safe and sensible. I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Lower me in. I'm inside. Take me down. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, all this for a jar of honey. Yes, it's very exciting. Too far. Up a bit. Now left a bit. The bees will wake up soon if he doesn't get a move on. I'm in position. Quick, wise old elf. <laughs> Come on, wise old elf. Hurry up! There we are. Done. Calm, safe and sensible. Eh? Ah, nice bees. Uh, just borrowing a bit of honey. Um, I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz. Pull me up. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Pull me up. Mission accomplished. Calm, safe and sensible. What are those bees doing, Nanny? They seem to be following him. Ah! Bee swarm! Get me out of here! Look, there's loads more of them. Why are they following him? Maybe they think he's the Queen Bee. Ah! Faster! Hold on! The little castle. Thank goodness the window's open. Hmm, bit of a draft in here. Let's close the window. Yeah! Goodness me! Wise old elf, what are you. Ah! My jar of honey. What an amazing delivery service. You're even dressed as a bee. Yes? Let me in! What are you playing at? Shh! What's going on? Bees! Bees! Ah, yes. I used to be frightened of bees too, but it turns out they're quite useful. Shush! Who switched the lights out? Follow me quietly, Your Majesty. Where are we going? Shh! Wise old elf, there better be a good reason for this, or good grief! What are those bees doing? Uh, the bees have decided that the little castle is their new home, Your Majesty. What? But looking on the bright side, you can have all the honey you can eat. Why have they all come here? They followed me because they think I'm the Queen Bee. Well, I don't want them on my castle! Shh! If the bees notice us, they'll follow me again. Oh, I see. Well, why didn't you say so? Hello, bees. He's over here. Cooey. Ah! Get me out. 
out of here! Don't worry, wise old elf. I've got you. Wait! What about my honey? They're getting closer. Try to shake them off. My toe! Hang on! Ah! Oh! Out! Oh! Ah! I'll try going lower. Aren't we a bit near the... <laughs> and there's the queen bee. I mean the wise old elf. Here come the bees. Come on, here's your queen bee. And that is how you get a jar of honey. Calm, safe and sensible. <gasps> What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a beekeeper in his underpants before? Calm, safe and sensible. Yes, exactly. It's all quite easy when you're an expert beekeeper like me. In that case, can you fetch me a jar of honey too? No! At least, perhaps not today. Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's go. And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Lucy Sleepover. Isn't it lovely having a picnic in the Little Kingdom? What's the Little Kingdom? You know, Daddy, where our friends, the fairies and elves, live. Now, Lucy, we've talked about this. Fairies and elves don't exist. But they do, Daddy. Yes, darling. You've met them yourself. Oh, <laughs> it's a charming idea and I've joined in the game before. But let's not be silly. That's like saying talking animals exist. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Ah, the talking animal. It's me, Ben Elf. Oh, hello, Ben. Why are you a rabbit? Holly magicked me into one by accident. <laughs> Ah! Uh, was that a talking animal? Help! Help! Rex, come back! <laughs> Rex, no! Naughty dog! <laughs> hello, Lucy. Oh, hello, Holly. Have you seen a talking rabbit anywhere? Yes, he was here just now. <laughs> here I am. Naughty Ben. When we magic you into things, you shouldn't run away. Can you change me back? Of course. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Now let's play a sensible game. Let's play catch. To you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Violet. <laughs> I wish I could play in your games, but I'm too big. No problem. I can just shrink you down. Whoa! Wow, I'm tiny! <laughs> You're one of the little people now, Lucy. Will I be like this forever? No, only till the morning. You'll be big again tomorrow. Can you make Rex little too? <laughs> now you can do all the things we do. Ooh, can I go for a ride on Gaston? <laughs> OK. Hold on to his feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Whee! <laughs> Don't pull too far back. You'll lose the loop. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun. Can I visit your houses? Of course. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes. We used 
to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm! <laughs> I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah! A big person! Sound the alarm! Ah! Big person! Oh! Don't they like me? Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Lucy is our friend. Yes, look at her feet. They're far too small to step on anyone. Yes, she does seem a bit small for a big person. Holly shrunk me down. Oh, I see. But Lucy is our friend, whether she is big or small. In that case, we are forgetting our manners. Lucy, would you like to join us for lunch as our special guest? Lunch? Sorry, I've just remembered. I'm having a picnic with Mum and Dad. We'll take you back. Come on. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. It's true, darling. There really are elves and fairies. And talking rabbits? Well, that's a new one on me, but obviously there are. No, I can't believe it. We must have imagined it all. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Ah! Lucy? Yes. Holly shrunk me down to be a little person today. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, darling? Mm. Don't worry, she won't be little forever. Just until the morning. I know, you could stay for a sleepover tonight. Oh, wow, could I? Of course, there's lots of room in the little castle. That would be brilliant. Can I? Uh, I think that would be fine. Have a nice time. Great. Bye, Mum and Dad. See you in the morning. <laughs> hmm. Talking rabbits, elves, fairies, shrunken daughter. Come on, darling. Let's get you home. Yeah. Nanny, say hello to Lucy. Lucy? Who's Lucy? You know Lucy. Do I? She's normally a bit bigger. Oh, Lucy the big person. Hello. Normally a lot bigger, I'd say. I shrank her down. Lucy has come to join us for a sleepover. Well, what will happen when she grows big in the morning? The castle will explode. Don't worry. We'll make sure Lucy is out of the castle before the morning. All right, then. And Gaston and Rex can sleep in the kitchen. What? Oh, all right then. As long as they don't leave any muddy footprints. Oh! This is my bedroom. <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight or it's not a real midnight feast. <sighs> Dum -de -dum -de 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 -do -de -de -de. Oh, my goodness! Rex, what are you doing here? It's morning! You could grow big again any second! Oh. Out! Out! 
quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah! Out you go! Just in time! That could have been disastrous! <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up! Holly, where's Lucy? Shh! She's still asleep! What? Well, wake her up! And get her out of the castle! Quickly! Before she gets big! Oh, yes! We forgot! Lucy! Lucy! Wake up! What's happening? You're growing! Whoa! Let's get out of here! Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Morning, all. Is Lucy around? Uh, yes. I just wanted to say sorry. Big people aren't all about smashing our houses and stepping on us. Ow! Oops, sorry, Mr Mayor. I didn't mean to step on you. That's quite all right. I couldn't have been stepped on by a nicer person. Um, how am I going to get out of the castle? Oh, a bit of magic will fix that. Phew. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Lucy, home time. That's my mum. I've got to go now. Thanks for the great time. Yes, it was fun. Next time we'll come to your place. Ooh, that would be great. Bye. 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 There you are. Hi, Lucy. Did you have a nice time? It was the best sleepover ever, wasn't it, Rex? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Elf Farm. Miss Jolly's Riding Club. Now, as you can see, Ben, the cabbages are ready to eat. Yes, Dad. Fascinating things, cabbages. Yes, Dad. Today we'll be harvesting them. Then we can have cabbage soup every night. Yes, Dad. We can have Cabbage soup Monday, cabbage soup Tuesday, cabbage soup Wednesday, cabbage soup. Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. We're off to Miss Jolly's snail riding club. Yeah, snails, horrible things. No, they're adorable. There's Dobbin. <laughs> and Robin Hood. He's the cheeky one. <laughs> I want to ride Cupcake. He's lovely. They're all lovely. <laughs> Snails are not lovely. They eat up my cabbages. But they're so fun to ride. Would you boys like to come along? Riding club sounds a bit girly to me. It's not girly. The snails can go pretty fast. I suppose we could try it. Yes, cowboys ride, don't they? We could wear our cowboy hats. All right, let's go. <laughs> Just keep those snails away from my cabbages. <laughs> Jolly's Riding Club. But where's Miss Jolly? Oh, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Hello, everyone! Morning, Miss Jolly! Are you ready for a good day's riding? Yes, Miss Jolly! Spiffing! I see we have some cowboys here today. Yee-haw! <laughs> One thing to remember, snails don't like loud noises. They're quite shy. Yes, Miss Jolly. Don't worry, Trigger. The cowboy is your friend. <laughs> Jolly good. Let's go and meet your snails. Here are Dobbin, Muffin, Cupcake. They're so adorable. Toffee, 
Bobby, Speedy, Robin Hood and Samson. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? Samson doesn't seem to have a shell. That's because he's a slug. Ugh. A slug. Who would want to ride a slug? <laughs> now, children, you must never walk behind a snail. Why not? It might give you a jolly good kick, that's why. Oh, Speedy's got a bit of spirit. <laughs> you need to get to know your snails. Hold out your hand so they can sniff it. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent! And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. We'll groom Speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. <laughs> Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Lappin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. Now, before we ride the blighters, they need some nosh. What's nosh? Food. Everybody take some vegetables and hold them out for the snails. Here's a carrot, Robin Hood. Here you go, Bobby. A lovely cabbage leaf. They like fresh vegetables. They're so hungry. Oh, yes. They'd eat all day if you let them. <laughs> Now, time for the riding. Everybody choose a snail. Oh, can I ride Bobby, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm on a snail. I'll ride Robin Hood. <laughs> I'll ride Muffin. Toffee. Cupcake. I'll ride Speedy. Ah, the thing is, Speedy hasn't been broken in yet. What do you mean? I mean, no one has ever ridden him. He's too frisky. <laughs> yes, he's a young one, full of beans, you know. Can I be the first to ride Speedy today? You can have a go, but you need to get on his back and he'll try and throw you off. Sounds like a job for an elf cowboy. I like your spirit, Cowboy Ben. Boy! Never seen anything like it. Well done, Cowboy Ben. Yeehaw! So, young Jake, what's it to be? Dobbin or Samson? Um, maybe Dobbin. It's strange, isn't it, Samson? No one ever seems to want to ride you. <laughs> Never mind. You stay here and have a rest. Off we go then. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? How do we tell our snails to move? Tell them to trot on. Trot on! Trot on! <laughs> Let's go snail riding! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful day for a snail ride. What? Where are we going? Just around the meadow. Uh, Miss Jolly? Samson the Slug is following us. Oh, I see. 
keep going. I'll catch you up in a minute. Now then, you naughty slug. You're not meant to be on the ride. Back to the stables with you. <laughs> keep up, everyone. Hmm. Which way now? Miss Jolly said just round the meadow. Hmm. This way then. <laughs> Whoa! All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert. Snail alert. <laughs> Cabbages into the elf truck. Boy, get off me vegetables. Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a riding class. Come on! It's no good. They're eating faster than we can carry. Snails, stop! Oh, you cheeky little snails. Cheeky? They've eaten half our cabbages. Well, if you will grow such delicious cabbages, what do you expect? But, but... Children, did you all have a nice ride today? Yes! Thank you, Miss Jolly. It's a pleasure. And we should also say a jolly big thank you to Mr Elf for giving the snails such a lovely lunch. It was my pleasure. Mind you, if they're going to eat at your place again, they really like lettuce the best. Grow a bit of that next time. All right. <laughs> People think snails are a pest, but they're adorable, really. Yes, they're so lovely and cute and cuddly. <laughs> Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Springtime! Wow! Look at all the lovely tulips. Yes, Holly, it's the first day of spring. Wow! There's a flower right outside our window. All the daffodils have come up. I love springtime. Ben! Ben! Are you coming out to play? I'll be right down. Have you seen all the flowers? Yes, and... Oh, those leaves are moving. There's something in there. It's coming out. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, a little hedgehog. <laughs> Gaston's frightened him. He's rolled up into a ball. Sorry, Mr Hedgehog. Ah, oh, a hedgehog. <laughs> He's woken up for the spring. Woken up? Yes. Some creatures sleep all through the winter. Don't they get very hungry? They make sure they have a big meal before going to sleep. Oh, there's something else waking up. And it's big. It could be a bear. It could be a... Hello there. Ah! The gnome! gnome! Do gnomes sleep through the winter too? Yes, and when they wake up, they're very hungry. Ah, what's for breakfast? Uh, Mr Gnome, wouldn't you like to sleep a bit more? Hey? 
What do you mean? Ah, uh, maybe it's not springtime yet. We could still get some snow, eh, Nanny Plum? Ow! Stop it! It could snow at any moment, couldn't it? Ow! I don't think so. It could snow if magic was used. Oh! You want me to magic some snow so he'll think it's still winter? Shh! Why didn't you say so? Oh, dear me, it's snowing. I'd better go back to sleep. Hang on. Over here, it's sunny and there's flowers. You try to trick me. Ha ha ha! I like a good joke. Shame I don't know any. I've had some funny dreams, though. Would you like to hear them? Uh, no, thank you. Yes, there's nothing so boring as other people's dreams. Anyway, I dreamt I was in this rowboat and the oars were made of cheese. Then a lot of pigeons wearing pyjamas started chasing me. How interesting. <gasps> There's lots more to tell. But first, I need food. Hello there. Ah! I mean, hello, Mr Gnome. This looks like a nice comfy house. I wouldn't mind living here. Uh, you can't live here. I like a man who speaks his mind. We'll have some good chats while I'm living here. Mr Gnome, we'd really love to have you stay, but the front door is too small for you. Well, if you really want me to stay, I'll try my best. <laughs> Nearly there. Just my bottom to go. Hello, everyone. It's a bit of a squeeze in here. I'll just move this little staircase. He's eating everything! <clears throat> What's for dessert? Save your food! Mr Gnome, wouldn't you rather live somewhere with other gnomes? Oh, no. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. Gnomes tell very boring stories. You never get two gnomes living within a hundred miles of each other. Hello? Nanny Plum, you must come back to the little castle at once. Sorry, King Thistle, but we're having a problem with a gnome. What? But I've got a gnome at the castle. Is there any more toast? There must be two gnomes. <laughs> no need to panic. What do you mean? You heard what the gnomes said. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. We just have to get them together. When they see each other, they'll run a mile. Problem solved. Yay! We'll arrange for both gnomes to meet each other at Big Hill. You seem to be out of food. Have you tried the breakfast tree on Big Hill? Breakfast tree? Never heard of it. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it, Nanny Plum? Ow! What did you nudge me for? Yes, over on Big Hill, there's a tree that grows sausages and eggs and bacon. Is there? I've never seen it. Ow! You don't even know you're doing it. Nanny, he wants you to magic one. Oh, I see. You want me to magic up a breakfast tree? Shush. OK, then. Hmm. I can smell breakfast from here. Hello. Quick, Your Majesty. Tell your gnome that there's a breakfast tree on Big Hill. Ooh! They say that breakfast don't grow on trees, but my, my! A tree with eggs, bacon, sausages and toast. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look, they're about to meet and run a hundred miles from each other. Uh, a gnome! What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Go on, then. What are you doing here? I like breakfast. Would you like to know why? No. I'll take that as a yes. It's because I like fried eggs and sausages and bacon and pancakes and... <coughs> You've eaten it all! Well, if you didn't talk so much, you could do some eating. Right! I'm going a hundred miles away from you. I'm going a thousand miles away from you. It works. 
worked. They've both left the little kingdom. What a brilliant plan. Well done, Nanny Plum. Thank you, King Thistle. <clears throat> it was my idea, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. I thought of getting them together. I magicked up the breakfast tray. Let's just say elf cleverness and fairy magic has saved the day. Yay! She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. The gnome's still here. We thought you'd uh, gone far away. I tried, but I just can't get her out of my head. That lady gnome's beautiful, isn't she? Do you like the way her eyes sort of sparkle? For pity's sake, can't we talk about something else? OK, then. Don't you think she has pretty ears? Oh, this is terrible. He's in love with her. That's springtime for you. He's a fine figure of a gnome, isn't he? Oh, yes. And hasn't he got a nice big tummy? If you say so. I've made up a song about him. Would you like to hear it? No. no. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, look, I think he's coming. <gasps> Is he? How do I look? Is my hat on straight? Oh, it's you. I thought you'd gone. Yes, well, I I just... That is to say, I, er... Uh... That's the first time I've seen a gnome lost for words. Would you like to hear a song I've written? <laughs> yes. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, my lady gnome has lots of lovely hair and lots of pretty eyes and ears so fair. <laughs> I like it. I'm Gloria. They're friends now. Gloria, will you be my own lady gnome and live with me forever in the little kingdom? Yes, I will. Come, my dear. I'll show you your new house. Here we are. This is where we'll be living. Ooh! Whose idea was it to get them together? Nanny Plum, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. It was your idea. Well, you made the breakfast tree. You told me to. Stop! Stop! What are we going to do about it? We can have a big wedding. Hello again. I'm afraid we have some bad news. What is it now? We've had a look at the elf tree and Gloria feels it's a bit tiny. I'm sorry we didn't design our elf tree for gnomes to live in. Nice of you to apologise, but it's still too small. And your castle isn't really to our taste. It's too old-fashioned. Old-fashioned? And drafty. So I'm afraid we'll have to find somewhere else. Oh, well, goodbye. It's a shame we won't see you ever again. Oh, don't worry. We'll be back for our holidays. See you next spring. Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Pirate's no. treasure. No, no. I'm the best pirate. You're not. I'm the best pirate. I am so. Listen. I'm the best pirate. Ask any pirate. Who's the best pirate? It's me. Hi, Redbeard. Hello, Ben and Holly. And hello, me rambling rose. Meet an old shipmate of mine, Captain Squid. At your service. We were just talking about who's the best pirate. What makes the best pirate? It's the pirate who's cleverest at hiding their treasure. My treasure's hidden the cleverest. This is me treasure map, but only I can read and understand it. <laughs> A child could read it. Is it buried next to the elf tree? Uh, yes. 
My treasure map is better than that. Ooh, that does look difficult. The treasure's deep underwater, yet in plain sight. Guarded by a mermaid and a golden sea monster with scales shining bright. Ooh! Well, best be off. I've got some pirate stuff to get on with. Ha-ha! <laughs> Good to see you, Captain Squid. And you too, Captain Redbeard. Oh, look! Captain Squid forgot his map. Run after him and give it back. No, it's too late. He's gone. We can still catch him. Captain Squid, wait. Give the map to me. I'll fly after him. Let's not be too hasty. Tell you what, I'll keep his map safe until he gets back. Are you going to hunt for Captain Squid's treasure? Oh, no. That would be against pirate's honour. What's pirate's honour? A pirate must never go looking for another pirate's treasure. Anyway, the map's too complicated for Redbeard. What? I could follow this map in my sleep. I'll prove it. But what about pirate's honour? Yes, the thing is, pirates don't really have much honour. They're pirates after all. And anyway, I only uh, want to check that Captain Squid's treasure is hidden safely and that. Can we come too? Well, I can always use more crew. Yay! Cast off and away we go. Men, Polly, into the crow's nest and keep a sharp lookout. We're going on a treasure hunt. Yo-ho-ho! Ho. Aha! Are we having fun? Aye, aye, Captain! Good! Having fun is what being an elf pirate is all about. And we're elf pirates! <laughs> The map says we pass a tree with a huge wheel. That's silly. Trees don't have wheels. Redbeard, is that it? Yes, Holly, it must be. That's the old tyre that the big children swing on. Ooh, big children? That sounds a bit dangerous. I'm not afraid of danger. Pirates laugh in the face of danger. Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha. Land ahoy! That's the end of the water. The next bit's on land. You mean we have to get out and walk? Fear not, me pretty nightingale. Your ship has wheels. It can go on the land. Well, most treasure you'll find is on the land. There's not that much in the sea but water. Look, we're in the big children's playground. Now we look out for the giant's palace. There it be! But that's Lucy's school. Who's Lucy? Lucy's our friend. She's a big girl. Are you sure the treasure would be at a children's school? This here map says the treasure's inside. How can we get in? The door shut and the handle's miles up. And you elves won't want to use magic. That's right. Us elves don't normally like magic. But when there's treasure involved... Rightio! Abracadabra! Ooh! I thought you were just going to make the door open. But a flying boat is much better. It's quiet. No sign of any big people. But all the big children will be here soon. Let's get a move on. The treasure is found by the sign of the acorn. Acorn class. That's Lucy's class. This is ridiculous. How can pirate treasure be in a children's classroom? What does the map say now? Map? I don't need no map. When treasure's this close, I can smell it. We pirates have a nose for treasure. Come on! Now, we're all going to walk the plank. Starting with me. Whee! 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 This is silly. How can the treasure be here? It's supposed to be deep underwater, for one thing. There be the water! But that's a fish tank. Remember what Captain Squid said? The treasure is guarded by a mermaid. That's a little statue. And a golden sea monster. That's just a goldfish. 
And there be Captain Squid's treasure, hidden in plain sight. It's a plastic toy. All fish tanks have that sort of thing. Huh, it's not real treasure. There is only one way to find out. We'll have to dive for it. Who's going diving? Good luck, me plucky little pumpkin. Oof. What am I doing? Deep sea diving in a goldfish bowl. Look for the treasure chest. Oh, it's just a plastic toy. I don't even think it opens. Ooh. It's real treasure. <laughs> Captain Squid said I'd never find his treasure. I'd like to see his face now. Redbeard, fancy meeting you here. Oh, hello, Captain Squid. When I set sail, I found my treasure map was missing. Was it really? So I came back. I was worried some rascal might try and steal my treasure. Yes, yes, that would be very bad if someone tried to steal your treasure. I've got the treasure, Mr Redbeard. Why, you double-crossing old sea dog. Uh, I can explain. Treachery with a smile on its face. It's all right, Captain Squid. I found your map on the ground. Redbeard was worried about your treasure, so we came to make sure it was safe. Yes, uh, that's right. Just check it over, like. Oh, well, that's, that's different. But you must admit it was a good hiding place, wasn't it? Aye, very good. A children's fish tank. Best hiding place ever. Oh, but now you all know where it is. I better hide it again. If you could all close your eyes. Thank you. OK, you can look now. Where have you hidden the treasure? Somewhere in the world. Well, it can't be that far away. You were only gone for a second. No one will ever, ever find it. It's guarded by a ferocious beast. Ooh. School starting. <laughs> All right, Acorn Class, settle down. Lucy, could you please feed Fluffy the hamster? Yes, Miss Cookie. Oh, look what I found. It's the toy pirate chest from the fish tank. How on earth did it get in Fluffy's cage? Maybe a pirate put it there. <laughs> we'll just put it back, shall we? Guarded by a ferocious beast indeed. Fluffy the hamster! There. Back where it belongs. Never mind, Captain Squid. I think that's the best hiding place for it anyway. But you all know where it is now. We won't tell anyone. You swear? Yes, on pirate's honour. But Redbeard, you said pirates don't really have any honour and... Yes, yes. Thank you, Holly. We'll talk about this more later. But for now, put your hands on your hearts and say pirate's honour. Pirates honour! All aboard! Let's be off before we're spotted. A flying ship. Yes, all the best pirates have one these days. Now, let's start the class. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cookie, look! A flying pirate ship! It's, it's behind, behind you! Ha ha, yes children. Now settle down please. Hi Holly, hi Ben. What are you doing here? Tell you later. Set sail for home! Little Kingdom, here we come! Ha -ha! I think we got away with that. Aye, it were a great adventure. And that's what being elf pirates is all about! Having adventures! Yeah.